In this short video, I want to give you a flavour of Stone Soup, a wonderful artist book by Paul Arego. By showing you first the slipcase that contains the book and the accompanying etching, it's sized 44 by 36 centimetres and is covered in deep blue dubletta cloth. Inside the slipcase is first a hardcover portfolio which provides safe storage for Paul Arego's original etching, Adjusting the Recipe. It's an etching she made in 2014 at Pauper's Press in London, a specialist print studio where she's made some really virtuoso etchings over the past 15 years. This etching, which as you see is also protected in the portfolio by tissue paper, is in a signed and numbered edition of 75. It also has aquatint, and as you can see is multicoloured, simply rendered to emphasise its connection to a children's story, though like many children's stories, this one is suitable also for adults. The book that's also housed in the slipcase is covered in the same cloth. One of Rago's watercolour images is crushed into the front cover, and inside the book a sequence of watercolours is paired with the children's story Stone Soup, reimagined by Rago's daughter Cass Willing. And here she tells a new version of a traditional Portuguese folk tale, one that's typically read to children to encourage cooperation in times of scarcity. Each of the 13 watercolours by Rego is accompanied by sections of the story. The girl scavenging on the seashore for food, her father's disappointment at having such an empty plate, the daughter's trip into a local village in her red dress to try to encourage villagers to contribute ingredients to her soup. her meeting with a man whose wife has thrown some carrots out of the window to contribute to the soup, and here the man is berating his wife for, for wasting food. The girls return desperate to her own father's house to find him ailing, and her desperation here as well to save herself from scavenging buzzards by returning to the village and putting on a kind of show in which she's pretending to make a very, very delicious stone soup, one whose recipe she'd got from her mother, a cook in the ambassador's residence. And she persuades the villagers to contribute all sorts of ingredients to the soup, butter, onions, paprika, sausage, goodness knows what else, and she gives them a banquet and they're so delighted they ask her to stay in the village with them and to make them a stone risotto. At the end of the book is the colophon page, which establishes all the details of the edition.